The bad railroad has gas. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rogue Leader Gaming. Uh, the Bad Railroad has gas. As you can see, we actually have ourselves a hopper full of coal. Uh, so I think the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to come grab this. But before, before we get started, I do want to remind everybody watching to be sure to like, subscribe, check out the channel. Uh, by the time this goes up, we should just about be finishing up uh, Derail Valley for the next little bit. It'll definitely be a series that comes back, but I need a break. So uh, we're doing this for a while. And I, I do apologize that the game is a little bit on the slow side, especially early on these first couple episodes, but that's just kind of the nature of the game. It picks up a lot as we keep going in the game and actually make progress in everything, which is why one of the goals for today's episode is to make some progress. So let's go ahead, though, uh, and jump right into this. Um, the game did have an update, um, but first and foremost, let's uh, let's back on up and go collect that hopper. So the game did actually have an update, which broke some of the mods. Um, I didn't reinstall the names and lettering mod that I had before. Uh, we still, of course, have the Bryson, Andrews, and Dillsborough Railroad. Uh, the bad, as it were. Uh, but some of the names underneath of the locomotives and whatever may have gone away. I don't remember what we named them initially, but that's okay. Uh, we can always bring that mod back. I did manage to uh, get the whistle mod back and whatever, um, but we're still working on some of the others as of this recording. The update uh, did quite a lot of stuff, actually. Um, namely, AI engineer... Uh, now makes passenger stops, which is awesome. So basically, if you have your, if you go into our passenger car here, if the passenger car has stops here, it'll actually stop. It'll center whatever, however many passenger cars you have, it'll center uh, onto the platform and uh, it will stop. It'll pick up passengers. If you go to your um, station menu here and go to settings, and go to features, yeah, features. There's the minimum stop duration. This is in-game minutes. And uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and set this down to, I think, five minutes. Uh, oh, we gotta go flip the switch. Um, but that is extremely exciting. I have not played around with that yet. Uh, because I'm recording this reasonably uh, quickly after that update actually came out. Uh, what else have we got? We have added an interactive headlight control to the engines, which is a thing. I've seen how it works, and let's uh, let's just come on up in here. And as you can see, here we go. Headlight off. You know, you've got uh, dim. Oh, this one only has the one headlight. That's why. Okay, yeah. That's correct on this one since it only has the one headlight, but on, I've noticed on some of the other locomotives, apparently it is, uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah, now it has both, you know, full or both dim. Which, why? So front full, f both full, both dim, rear full, off. What the heck? Like, I don't, I dislike this greatly. I like the way that it was before, where before it was front dim, front on, rear on, and rear dim, I believe. And that made more sense. Even dim, you never would run with both headlights. These dynamos did not put out enough power for that to be a thing, especially these on these small little guys. Not that this one has a backup light, but you know, you get the point. Like, the dynamos were just not good enough for that. Like they can only they can only provide so much power, you know, and so it's like you wouldn't run with both of them. You you would never really have a reason to run with both both lights. There's not a purpose to that. Uh, they added V-Sync, um, which is a thing that exists. I haven't noticed any problems uh, with my with how my game runs and things like that. Um, 
And so I haven't messed with any of the graphics settings as of yet. And quite frankly, the only thing that happens if I do mess with the graphics settings is my computer decides to become a personal heater. The AI, this is the thing, I've been bothered by this. I haven't really mentioned this because it's been in my in my solo playthrough um, in Sandbox. The AI now announces low fuel levels. Oh my gosh. Praise the Lord, thank you. Like, ah, it has been, ah, it has been my number one most requested feature because I keep getting stuff stalling out on the hill, um, going up, uh, between, uh, Nantahala and Topton, and, uh, they keep stalling out because they run out of fuel. And so I have no idea that they've run out of fuel and then I need to figure out a way to go rescue them. Like that happens so often to me in my um, sandbox playthrough. So thank you. Finally, AI, AI now announces low fuel levels, which is amazing. Go ahead and apply the handbrake here. And the way that I'm actually going to do this, so now we have coal. Let's go ahead and take the- we're actually going to go ahead and take the number one out here. Because I have a bit of a plan. Should be just about full of water. So we just got to fill up with coal, but yeah. Uh, fixed AI order orders showing uh, track speed and not lower order speed limit. Interesting. Uh, fixed Andrew's signal appearing on CTC panel when Andrew's signals haven't been purchased. Uh, fixed Wilmot station icon position uh, and teleport location. Uh, fixed Walker branch trestle alignment and regraded the bottom portion. Oh man, it's already full. This only th holds three tons? Wait, what? Okay. I guess that's fine. Uh, what else did they do? Um, they fixed high tree density, causing trees to excessively cro encroach. I can't speak English. Excessively encroach on the right of way. So good. Maintenance of way has been through. Great. Um, coal loaders no longer load cars not owned by your railroad. Okay, cool. Uh, fixed Robinson Gap, not loading cars if they already contained coal. And the B-65, the Berkshire, is now large curve radius. The D-46 is now medium. I have no idea what that refers to. There's also been a little patch that reduced the damage on collision, uh, particularly at speeds below 10 miles an hour. So now you can hit things at 10 miles an hour and it's not going to damage it as much. Or doubled the clickable distance for fusees. Uh, so you can click them from farther away. The P-18 fixed the headlight control position, and the C-25 fixed the seat order on control zero. Interesting. So that is the change log. I don't think I probably needed to go through all of that, and I'll probably cut some of that out, because a lot of it is just a bunch of guff that I have no idea how to... Anyway. So getting on with today's uh, efforts, I really love the direction that this is going then. Uh, with the improvements made to AI in involving passenger, we actually will be testing that out probably on the way back. Uh, because what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be running, uh, we have these cars to run up to Whittier. Uh, we, well, we're already at Whittier. Um, uh, these go onto the sawmill tracks, which as you can see, they're highlighted just up there. Um, but we have two cars to stencil. That's not really enough to run a full freight train, so I figure we'll do another mixed train like last episode, um, where we took a couple of cars and this freight er, freight car. That is a passenger car, sir. Yes, I know. So we'll take the passenger car and um, and these two cars up to Stenzel. Uh, there is one car up. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, there is actually one car at uh, Stenzel that needs to come back here. Great. That's so it only it's damaged to 99%, but it didn't damage and I did I um, hit it at like eight 
And so that, that, that was, that's, that's good. Okay, so that has been uh, successfully adjusted, which is exciting. Now we can dunk things harder. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull, we need to be on the other side of these. So what I wanna do is I'm just gonna pull these off. Um, and we're going to pull them forward past this switch. And we're gonna get to number two, and we're gonna use the number two to put them into their tracks over here. And in the meantime, we will get the number one ready to haul our log train up to Connolly Creek. And I think that's gonna be the best way to do this. Let's go ahead and hop on here. Cool, yeah, that's totally gonna fit. And then we'll park it. We'll go couple up to those, flip the switch and do different things and we'll get stuff going. But yeah, I'm really excited about where the, um, where the game is being taken and uh, the positive changes that are being made. I don't know what some of these mean, but um, I'm sure they mean good things for the game. Uh, oh yeah, and we want to, we want to fill the number two up with coal while we're here as well. Um, don't forget about that, otherwise we will have the same problem as last episode where there's no gas. We need gas. Because uh, the number one is strong enough to actually take all of these uh, freight cars, all these, uh, all the log cars in one go, um, up to Connolly Creek. The mogul does not quite make it all the way, but the ten wheeler does. So, um, we're going to use the tin wheeler so that we can do it all as, as one big unit and we have less work to do, less switching moves. Dunk, all right. All right, let's grab the number two. All right, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna wanna call up before we go. I may actually, if there's space, uh, get that train out by pulling it onto this track. I'm excited to see the changes to AI for sure, because not announcing, hey, I'm out of gas, was my number one complaint about the game. I, it, it made me so mad whenever I was like, oh, so you just decided to disappear on me for no reason and just stop having, you know, stop going because you didn't have enough power to make it up the grade and then you just ran out of fuel like a complete and total chode and now I can't do anything with you. And so now it's gonna be like, oh, hey, uh, boss man, we're out of gas. And I'll be like, oh, great, let's go run for water. Um, and it'll be brilliant. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that our switches are aligned. Yet yeah, we should be good all the way up to the top of Connolly Creek. Uh, we're just gonna pull this through. All right, off it goes. I guess we could have set the AI at this point. Orders, road, forward, uh, well, uh, 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 20. Thank you. You don't need to go all that fast. All right, you are loaded up with coal now. So you're ready to go. Um, and we can just follow this out. And all of these are going onto those tracks right there. So we just need to bring them on down over there, which is why we needed to be on this side. I just wanted a, a good way to get an engine on this end. Otherwise it's a bit of a pain and you have to do some crazy drop shenanigans. And I didn't feel like doing that. I also didn't feel like running around because of those two box cars for Stenzel. And so it just got really complicated really quickly or I could just do that while I was getting that one going. So it works out. 
How much money have we got actually? Railroad. No, finance. Here we go. Uh, we currently have six thousand dollars. Really? We only have six thousand? It's day three, my guy. So we'll just get these bad boys parked. Uh, I think I actually am going to change my mind. I think I am going to make a run up to uh, Whittier um, proper up to, to, to put those cars on Stenzel. Um, just with uh, this and then we'll do a, a separate deal with passengers so that we can test out the passenger uh the new passenger ai shenanigans not that we have much else to do at the moment but i think i want to get a second oh shit we should park yep okay we're good handbrake on and Backing on up. Uh, we got paid. So what are we looking at now? We just got paid six, uh, $318. Great. Let's see where we get. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and deliver these cars and see where we get. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and deliver these. Oh, I, I also need like a like a thumbnail for this No, we're gonna do we're gonna do one with the passenger car here in a minute because we've got um, the new passenger Nope Nope, where's my there we go Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay. Holy cow. Uh, okay, so actually, here's another good question. What would another um, passenger car s sound like? Yeah, where's our, our cheapest passenger car? 4,000. <sighs> we can also take a loan. That's right, we can. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We might take a loan in order to get a new locomotive. Um... And I would like a new passenger car sooner rather than later, especially once we do manage to get to Bryson. I think until we get to Bryson, it'll be fine with one. But I think as soon as we get to Bryson, I want to be running two. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it a little bit. And we'll decide by the end of the episode. So stay tuned. Uh, all right. We are going to go direct in on this one. So and we're going to pull that out first. So we do have these two cars. We got to we got to park them. Do we have um? Better contracts yet? Uh, locations. No. No, we do not. Okay. Uh, at least not on that one. Do we have, like, stencil? No, we don't have better contracts yet. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe? We'll see. I don't know. Alright, so we've got these two. They need to get swapped out with this one. So we're gonna grab that, we're gonna spot it over here, and then we're gonna throw these back. Back her up nice and slow. It's a bit of an uphill here. So we do got to be aware of that. Um, we're just going to back up and grab this.
All right. And I think we're just going to kind of kick this thing back. Make things nice and easy for us. Let's make sure it doesn't run away on us, though. That would be a bit of a problem. That's fine. All right. Great, and then we just gotta park these bad boys. Then we'll go pick up our passenger train and check out the new passenger AI. Cause I'm actually really excited to test that out. All right, tie your handbrake. cold coffee. Gross. There's nothing worse than a cup of coffee that used to be warm and suddenly isn't. Uh, how's our, uh, oh, it's made it. The number one has in fact made it to Connolly. We'll probably take it a good while to get loaded up, so we're not going to worry about that too much. All right, we're just going to kick that at high speed so that we can come grab our passenger car. Man, that thing is flying. We gotta, we gotta pay attention here though. And we'll come back and grab our passenger car. I'm so excited to test out this AI stuff. Um, it is, it is gonna be really, really cool. It's gonna be a whole lot more useful whenever we have the ability to run a dedicated passenger train. And so we really do maybe want to get a new locomotive. Uh, again, we'll, we'll see what we are thinking about here. Uh, let's also not run into our passenger car at high speed, please. I like how there's not a front dim or rear dim option anymore. It's just, hey, both of them are dim or both of them are on. Or individually they're on. Ah, shit. Wait, hold on. Shift click those. There we go. All right, so we're going to test this out. So what we're going to do is uh, I am going to go to this coach and we're going to set it up for stops in Whittier and a stop in Ella. And I want you to be a ghost train. Operations, nope, orders. Here we go, road, forward, full, go. And it should now run on its own and actually stop at Whittier Station, in theory, on its own, without having to set a fusey, which would be amazing, um, because that was annoying. Having to set all those fusies. Uh, don't forget, guys, down below. I know we just ran a train without a caboose. Don't forget down below, if you guys are interested in seeing me have to run with a caboose all the time, let me know, because I can make that a, a, a game rule, uh, you know, where, like, you know, a house rule kind of thing to make things more interesting, where we have to run with a caboose in order to uh, run a freight train. Uh, without if we exit like yard limits or whatever that would be an interesting way to do things and I think that if you guys are down for that uh, could be something but also I'm also lazy and I would love to not run with a caboose and so what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments down below all right uh, we're coming up on our stop and we are charging into Whittier like there's no tomorrow okay we're starting to break Oh, it's breaking hard. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. 
Yeah, that's not ready yet. Oh my gosh, is it gonna do it? It should center whatever passenger train, whatever passenger cars you have, it should try to center them onto the station platform track. So if we look here, passenger Whittier, it should be dead center on the track. But if we had two of them, the whole length of the passenger car section of the train will be um, centered on the track. And okay, great. And so now, yeah, it should load passengers. And there are 52 people wanting to go to Ella. That's a pretty good full passenger consist. And then um, it should, I've taken it down to five minutes. So it should wait five in-game minutes before uh, heading on to its next destination in theory. So it should leave on its own. Uh, so I'm not going to touch anything. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go take a look at... Uh, Connolly just really quick uh, double check that the number one is squared away and loading yep it is we'll we'll come back and check on this again after some time has passed um, let's see coming back over here um, and we'll just kind of sit here waiting for a moment and again so let's see so what I'm gonna do let me explain my stratagem at this point, guys. So if we bring up our map here, our current line runs here from south, uh, or I guess it's East Whittier. East Whittier, it runs up to Ella. It also has a branch up to Connolly. That's our railroad currently. So we have options. If we go here to milestones, uh, our available milestones, we can either repair the Ella track and bridge um, we can add a diesel fueling stand at East Whittier, which why would we want to do that? Steam, steam engines for the win. Uh, or we can purchase the track to Silva. Now, I've given it some thought after our first two episodes. None of y'all said anything about it. And so what I think I'd like to do, just because I have seen most people, most people do one of two things first. They either will do the, uh, the track and bridge and extend their first extension up to Bryson first. Oh, off we go. Uh, we have a full load of passengers, so that's good. Uh, didn't take that. Oops, I hit my mic. It didn't take that long at all, and and off it, uh, off it goes. So that is nice and exciting. Um, super cool. Uh, we're just gonna follow along with it as we go off and whatever. I'm gonna kind of jump back get some get some distance on it um and bring up our stuff again so i've seen a lot of other youtubers heading to um i'm just gonna move this out of the way a little bit so you can see some of the scenery mostly you're just seeing trees as they pass but whatever okay that's a lot of trees it's fine oh hey look a river there we go now there's less trees passing in front of the train for now um I've seen a lot of people immediately go to Silva first uh, and they run Silva to Ella and then ex start extending west, which is one way we could do it. Another thing we could do is go Bryson to Silva. And so our first maybe our first extension is to Bryson and then our next extension is to Silva. Um, that could be another good way to do it. But what I'm thinking is we actually do something weird. I think I want to run Whittier to Alarca as the initial push for the railroad. And then from there, we will push to Silva. And then after that, we will push west. That was kind of my idea. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So we are going to first do this repair, the Ella track and bridge. And I think we are going to go ahead and... What's our financials looking like? 6,707. Okay, can we make a... Go ahead and get rid of that, because we have explained my stratagem. The P-18. Oh, if we bought the, uh, the Pacific right now, we'd have $47 left. Huh. You don't say. Well, that makes it really tempting to go ahead and buy the, the Pacific. All right, well, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to think about it and I'm going to come back to you at the end of today whenever most of our uh, work has been done. The last thing I do want to do before 
uh, well, not the last thing I want to do, but the next thing I want to do before I do that, though, let's go ahead and find out. I want to find out what happens whenever this, uh, so we're coming up on Ella right now. I want to find out what happens whenever this actually hits the end of the line. Like, does it just stop or does it expect to continue on? That's what I want to know. Okay. Interesting. So it is going to continue going. By the way, please. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead. So that's interesting. So might still be worth placing fusies down at the very end of your line. But, um, now we know. So it's going to go back the other direction and should stop at Whittier. In the meantime, I will come back to you guys at the end of the day uh, whenever we have more to do, because right now we're just waiting on stuff to finish. All right, guys, it is almost five o'clock. We're going to go ahead. Th our log train is full already, so that is brilliant. We're going to go ahead and run this thing back. I have got the um, passenger train leaving Whittier headed to Ella. It is going to run a um, little deal on its own. We've got the AI set up to run it. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and run our log train back down the hill while that is going on. Uh, I have made some decisions that I think we're gonna go ahead and do. So let me pull up our, uh, situation here and go to milestones, repair Ella track and bridge. It's only gonna take $750 to do this, uh, and I think that we are going to go ahead and do that. So the bridge between Ella and Governor's Island was also damaged by the flood. Deliver bridge and track supplies to extend the railroad to Bryson. It's three phases. Um, the cars are ordered and we're waiting for delivery. Uh, the goal is to deliver 13 cars to the Ella bridge site. These cars will be delivered to the interchange and the next time the interchange is served. So I want to go ahead and do that next episode. Uh, so we will go ahead and allow that to get served and all the things. Uh, we need to be careful not to overspeed here, though. So let's uh, let's pay attention to our grade. But yeah, so we have go we're going to go ahead and make that a thing um, for next episode. As far as I know, we still do not have. Yeah, we still don't have uh, the next tier of contracts, so we have to wait around for that a little bit. 
but that's fine uh maybe next episode but yeah i i have decided we're gonna go ahead and do uh and do that which leaves us with a solid uh six thousand dollars which is great Let's see. Oh, looks like the number two is just about reaching Ella. So that's good. I put a fusee up at Ella so that it doesn't run off any farther than that. Um, but it'll stop there for now, and then I'll have to go uh, take it the other direction. I'll probably do that once I get this stopped down at Whittier the number one here like I said guys things are a little slow in these first few episodes but hopefully next episode things should hopefully start to pick up a little bit but definitely once we get to Bryson things are gonna start uh, definitely picking up a little bit come off the Y. We're going to get this thing stopped and then I'm going to go uh, make sure that Ella is uh, good to go. I think we just got... Yeah, we just got the tickets, so... It needs to load. Forgot about that. Passengers, back to Whittier. Load passengers, please. Great. Perfect. All right, now we just need to put all these on here and we do have eight this time, which is great. Uh, and that should hopefully make us some money too. Um, but yeah, we should have, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight total. So it, it needs eight a day. And so we've got eight total currently. And so perfect. That is exactly the amount we wanted. Let's go check on the number two really quick. Oh, it's decided that it's done. So, are you done? Hold on. You technically are. All right, great. So, orders. Reverse. Yeah, go that way. Brilliant. All right. And now that's good to go. And... Gotta bring him up the other way. Drop him in that log pond. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we don't just drop the logs in the log pond. We don't want to drop the actual cars in the log pond. That would be a bad day, but you know, uh, you know, we'll, it'll, it'll be fine. Bringing them on in. We can watch them. Uh, clear into the tracks that we know when to stop. Although basically you just shove them all in there until they're all in there and it's pretty obvious, but... And I'm just gonna leave them hooked up and everything for the time being, so... Great! Uh, so that's that. Uh, these aren't done yet, are they? No. They'll probably be a tomorrow morning problem. If I had to guess. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Well, that's coming back from Whittier. Uh, and I think that that is actually going to be where we're going to leave this episode. So like I said, we have uh, next episode, we should have our first milestone uh, that is now in progress. Uh, repairing the track 
um, between Ella and Governor's Island to extend the track on down to Bryson. Uh, and so that's going to be our first goal. We've got 13 cars to deliver, which we will do promptly next episode. Hopefully we'll have some more uh, stuff to switch out as well, though. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, and so I don't think there's anything else. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and all the great stuff. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Later, everybody.